Hello, I'm Raj Tanasia, the chairman and president of La Chaine de Rotisseur Vietnam. We are the oldest gastronomic society in Vietnam. And I'm sitting here with Mr. Dante Brandi, who is the consul general of Italy in Ho Chi Minh City. Hello, Dante. Hello, Raj. I'm here today because you graciously invited us to celebrate World Chain Day on the 24th of April this month uh, at your home. And so we're very gracious for that. For the viewers that don't know, World Chain Day is an international celebration of gastronomy through our organization, which is basically everyone around the world gets together and enjoys good food, good times. And we're definitely going to have that with Dante. Tell us about your role here in Vietnam. Well, I'm the Consul General of Italy in Ho Chi Minh City, which means different things. Of course, I take care of the Italian community in my jurisdiction, which goes from uh, Hue southbound until the end of Vietnam. And of course, I also take care of the relations between uh, Italian businesses and Vietnamese businesses. I take care of the promotion of Italian products, machineries, services in Vietnam. And uh, of course, I also take care of the uh, uh, cultural aspects and uh, the, you know, in general, tightening the ties between the two countries as much as possible. What is the relationship between Italy and Vietnam? Well, the Consulate General in Italy, uh, of Italy in Ho Chi Minh City has been set up in 2014, so it's relatively young. Uh, but it's a perfect example and a demonstration of how close the relations between the two countries are, because the, the setup of the Consulate is a direct consequence of uh, the fact that Italy and Vietnam a stroke a deal on a strategic partnership in 2013 and among the you know the follow-up uh, in this deal there was the uh, commitment to open up a consulate general of Italy in Ho Chi Minh City and that's why we're here. The relations between Italy and Vietnam are very friendly. I wouldn't mention or I wouldn't go back to Marco Polo and the first meetings between uh, Italians and Vietnamese uh, in the ancient times, but I have to say they have always been very good historically and, and of course even in more recent times uh, Italy and Vietnam share diplomatic relations since uh, 1973. So in 2018 we marked the 45th anniversary of the bilateral relations. Um, uh, these relations have always been based on a mutual understanding, comprehension, and uh, definitely on the mutual commitment to live in peace and to prosper the region, for sure. So we definitely share values and uh, uh, agenda in the international global scenario, for sure. But most importantly, Italy and Vietnam share a very close and growing people-to-people -people relations because there are many Italian students uh, who come here for, or, or Italian tourists who come here, you know, uh, mis apart from the pandemic uh, uh, period. But uh, there is a growing interest among Italians about Vietnam in all its aspects, of course, cultural life, gastronomy, uh, sightseeing, uh, uh, culture, heritage, but, and vice versa. There is a strong interest from the Vietnamese side especially the younger generation of Vietnamese, towards Italy, which is a distant geography for them. But it's, uh, I think uh, it's a very interesting country for them to discover and to know more about. We're here because of gastronomy, and Dante nicely mentioned gastronomy earlier. So what is Italy's relationship with gastronomy? <laughs> you know, it's, it's the real thing, right? I mean, Italy is a gastronomic powerhouse. We all know that. Um, as a, a very long tradition, which dates back to, you know, Roman or even even in ancient times, even before the Roman times. Um, I think Italy has been privileged in uh, in being in in a way a crossroads of civilizations. Uh, because Italy is just in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, so we received many, how to say, I wouldn't call them invaders, but of course we, uh, how to put it, we've been in the attention of many people along the centuries, 
uh, which brought, of course, uh, different dominations, but also different cultures. And, and this have uh, had an impact, of course, on our gastronomy, on our culture, on our heritage. So uh, in modern times, this means that Italy has a very rich, articulate and very diverse gastronomic scene. I don't think there is any place on earth where you can find such a different culinary aspects, maybe India, but I India is 100 times bigger, right? Um, uh, from the north of Italy to the south of Italy, complete different approach to gastronomy, uh, complete different recipes, complete different products. But one thing in common, of course, the love of great food and the love of conviviality. So that's basically why we care a lot about gastronomy, about food, which is, of course, a source of uh, economic income for Italy because we are one of the larger exporter of uh, authentic products, um, excellent products, and, of course, excellent wines. So when did you fall in love with food? <laughs> Since I was born, I would say. Uh, of course, as any typical Italian. Um, I was born in the cent central part of Italy, uh, by the sea. So I'm in love definitely with seafood and fish, but also with a whole range of uh, Italian gastronomy. Since my family is a very traditional and, and common family, uh, Italian family, we always enjoyed having uh, lunch and dinner together. Uh, and, and of course, we develop very naturally this sense of uh, conviviality and joy sharing moments, uh, even important moments in the life of a family over a table with good food and good wine, um, has always been, of course, in my vein, uh, as, as, as the one of any typical Italian, I would say. And I try to, to bring this love for food, for good food and for good wines in my profession as well. So it's really not just a duty, but also a pleasure, I think, to promote um, Italian food, gastronomy, also to cross and to, you know, match Italian gastronomic traditions with uh, foreign traditions, including Vietnam, which enjoys a, an amazing uh, culinary culture. Um, and so I was very amused in our promotional activities to see how much interest there is on the Vietnamese side, on Italian food and vice versa. And so we enjoy and we had fun even with many Italian chefs here in, in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City, to try to mix the two cultures with the very interesting results. And would you have any recommendations for people coming to Vietnam or living here in terms of restaurants? Well, definitely I think not to miss, of course, the Vietnam gastronomic scene, which means uh, a lot of uh, different things, starting from street food, of course, which is something that Vietnam shares with Italy, because Italy is a place of street food, definitely. Um, in terms of uh, Italian food, uh, of course, there is a, 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 a very nice, interesting scene of uh, Italian new talents uh, behind the kitchens. And, um, and I would say my recommendation would go uh, for a couple of maybe of unexplored destinations, not in big cities. So I would say Da Nang and Nha Trang possibly express now uh, some really talented Italian chef. The one that we are going to have for the worst chain day, Alessio, uh, at El Pec in Da Nang, but also Salvatore at uh, uh, La Cala in Nha Trang, uh, very good in seafood. But there is a variety of uh, a very uh, fine cuisine in uh, Ho Chi Minh City and in Hanoi as well, run by Italians. Uh, and of course, what I think the most interesting part is that Italian chefs are willing to uh, m enjoy their experience in Vietnam at their fullest, which means they are really uh, willing to explore and to have cooperation with other chefs, either Vietnamese or international chefs in town, to explore new opportunities. And this is because I think the culinary scene in general and the customer uh, are very well receiving those kind of experiments of fusion 
and uh, on uh, you know the expression of real culinary talents. So I think it's a very good moment for gastronomy in Vietnam, and Italy is definitely ready to play its part. So later this year, you also have an Italian Taste Week, if that's uh, the correct name. Tell me more about this week. Well, uh, this is an initiative launched by the Italian government uh, a few years ago, five years ago, which is called uh, the World Week of Italian Cuisine. And it's run through all our diplomatic network, meaning all our embassies, consulates generals, cultural institutes all over the world. Uh, this is exactly because um, Italian gastronomy, Italian cuisine, Italian wines uh, are not only a, an economic um, asset for Italy, but also intrinsically part of our culture and identity. So an Italian is not an Italian without its, its food, its wine, uh, and the tradition that everything you know, brings to him or to her um, uh, on its lifestyle. So it's, um, um, it's a week that we, in which we develop a lot of events, of course, uh, uh, thematic dinners, thematic lunches, but also scientific events to promote um, a correct diet and the way to, uh, um, how to say, to approach to food, um, the way to mix and balance the ingredients and the products in your average, normal, daily uh, diet to, of course, to promote the Mediterranean diet, which is at the core of uh, Italian gastronomy and Italian culinary tradition, to promote our products, but also to, how to say, to uh, update or to, you know, to have a dialogue with uh, all the rest of the world on very important things like, uh, you know, food, energy for life, sustainable farming, sustainable uh, agriculture, uh, which are uh, very important themes and which were at the core, for example, of the Expo uh, Milan 2015 that we hosted uh, uh, as Italy, uh, you know, uh, six years ago. Very important. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an event, it's an initiative which is not only related to food to assume, but is also related to food as a topic, very important in our daily life. You're bringing a chef. You actually have, we've got a chef from Da Nang, uh, from a restaurant called El Peck. So tell me about Alessio. Well, Alessio, to me, is a very talented guy. He's one of the uh, chefs I was mentioning before when describing the Italian culinary scene in Vietnam. And I think uh, um, his endeavor is pretty meaningful and telling about his personality because of course he was born in the north of Italy, uh, very close to the border with Austria. So he has a very specific origin uh, and, and of course is very close to uh, products and culinary tradition from that part of Italy. He has always been involved in uh, food, uh, bakery, uh, because his parents were involved in this industry as well. Uh, but he decided, uh, since a, a very young age, to uh, go abroad and try to uh, you know, develop his own uh, professional um, skills in, uh, in cuisine and in uh, gastronomy. And then he made a real... Uh, so he spent a lot of time in uh, Michelin star restaurants and very close to uh, very talented and, and prominent chefs in Europe. Um, but uh, I think his most uh, impressive endeavor was reaching Vietnam by bike from Paris with his uh, uh, fiancée at the time, uh, who is now uh, his lovely wife. Um, and so after two years of a long journey, uh, they, um, uh, they end up in Da Nang, uh, where he started as an executive chef at Furama Resort. And then uh, he decided to open up uh, his, own, uh, his own restaurant in Da Nang. So uh, I think his adventurous spirit is very well reflected in the way he cooks. And this is going to be something interesting for uh, the Shane ch to find out on our event on the 24th, I'm sure. And I look forward to it. So Dante. Thank you very much for filling our ears and filling our hearts 
But now we're hoping that you'll fill our stomachs. See you on the 24th. Definitely. Thank you, Raj.